Close your eyes and watch your breath. Tell the mind to stay here and make it happy to stay here. That's what it means to train the mind. It's like training a child. You explain the difference between what should be done and what shouldn't be done. And you also, if you're wise, try to train the child to want to do what should be done and not to want to what, what shouldn't be done. So with the mind, we're trying to develop concentration. That's something that should be done. Why? Because the concentrated mind can see things clearly. In particular, it can see where it's causing itself unnecessary suffering. And teach you how to change. So you can see things clearly in areas where you tend to be here. Things tend to be obscure. So it's good to have this clarity in the mind. But there's part of the mind that wants to travel around. Think about this, think about that. So you have to remind it. When you travel around like that, you're not seeing things clearly. It's like running around. If someone were to ask you, that tree you just ran past, what was in the tree? You probably wouldn't be able to say much. But if you stood there and watched it for a while, you could talk about every little branch, every little leaf, every little bird, whatever is in the tree. So here you're going to stay with the breath. And when you're staying with the breath, the mind is right here, because the mind is what you want to watch. As the Buddha said, the cause of suffering comes from within, inside the mind. So you want the mind to be able to watch the mind. The breath is a good mirror for the mind. So breathe in a way that feels good so you're happy to stay here. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body, and ask yourself if it's comfortable. If it's not, you're free to change. That's the good thing about the breath. It's one of the few processes in the body that you can control. And it's very responsive to the mind. All you have to do is think, longer breathing, and the breath will grow longer, shorter, and it goes shorter. There are a lot of things happening in the body that you can't change that way, but the breath is something you can change. So take advantage of that fact. The create a sense of well-being right here. So the mind will know that only, not only should it be here, but it wants to be here. It's happy to be here. It's a good place to be. And when the mind is happy to be with what it should be doing, then it's going to be a happy mind. There's no conflict inside. That's a sign of a mind well trained. <laughs>